Hey there, this is Michael with BlackBeltProject.com and in this video I wanted to talk about uh, GTD email and uh, exactly what I do when I check my email and why I have my folders set up the way that I do. You'll notice here that in my account my inbox right now is at zero. There's no messages in there and you know I first started doing the GTD before I got started I had three or four thousand emails, I kid you not, in my inbox and I held them there because you know, I knew I had to take some action and I really didn't know what to do with them and it wasn't until I came across GTD that uh, I figured out how to get my inbox down to zero now if you're new to GTD uh, I recommend you start here with your email account because uh, that's really where you're going to get a lot of bang for your buck as far as seeing results and uh, it really helped propel me into the next phase of GTD and that's working on the other stuff uh, that he, uh, David Allen suggests. Now, uh, what happens is I'll get an email, and you know, usually when I get to my email, I'll check it, and I have several, and I'll just make a quick decision on each of them. Is it spam? If it is, I'll mark it as spam. If it's something that's just trash, I'll delete it. Um, if it's an offer or promotional item, I'll move it over into my offers folder, where I keep about a month's worth of offers there. Um, if it's something informational, like a bill payment confirmation. Um, just some information that I just needed to know and knowing it is all that was important um, then what I'll do is then I'll just move that into my received archives folder uh, uh, to uh, archive it and if I ever need to refer to it you know I know where I'm going to uh, find it that'll leave me with items that I can either do real quickly or move to uh, my action items folder and um, so Typically, you know, as far as the two-minute rule is concerned, if it's something I can do really quickly, I just, you know, use a guideline. If I can just get it done quick, then I, I do it. A quick reply, um, you know. Uh, otherwise, if it's going to take some thought, then I move it to my action items folder. And then this is just another separate inbox. After I do that, then I'll check. This will get down to zero, and I'll check my spam folder because there are times when email arrives that it goes in here and I'll just scan that for anything and then uh, move it to my inbox by marking it as, you know, if you notice in my spam folder here, I've got a place to mark it as not spam and then it'll be in my inbox and then I'll just reprocess everything here. You see somebody signed up for the Black Belt Project and then I just move that into my received archives just like that. So it was just some informational item, it was nice to know and uh, you know, I've already archived it and just in and out, just like that. Once uh, I, I checked my spam folder, then I empty it so that it's empty. And then uh, I have a little system here that I go through and I'll, I'll uh, uh, anything I need to read, review, I'll check this folder and if I got time, uh, take care of uh, reading those items. Uh, these are items that I might want to read that I don't really, you know, it's not, they're not urgent, they don't require any action, uh, you know, just something that uh, I might want to get to. And if I don't, it's no big deal. Uh, after that, I'll go into my waiting for folder. These are things that, you know, maybe I replied to an email and I need uh, to remember to, uh, that I, I was waiting a response and I'll throw it into my waiting for folder. Uh, then I'll check this and anything I've, you know, I've gotten, then I will, um, you know, archive it in my receive folder if I'm done with it. If it's something I need to follow up on, I'll just put it in my action folder and know that I need to do it. And so it from you know I'll have a fair number of items in here. You can see I got 35 in there now, and um, you know I just check that each time uh, to make sure that uh, anything that I can delete I will or archive. You can see here I got a Yahoo Reminders folder, and in the background you can see I got my calendar. And uh, if you've uh, read or listened to any of my stuff, you'll know that uh, I use my calendar uh, probably a, a lot more than most people. And that's because I put anything that's day specific on the calendar and also anything that I need to be reminded of goes in there. And as a standard practice, I use a two-day email reminder. And then uh, I have all those reminders filtered into my Yahoo Reminders folder. And you can see there's 32 items in there. Now, I might get 15, 16 you know, a day. Uh, a lot of things uh, that can be done after a certain day. Uh, you know, things like, oh, change the air filter in the furnace. I want to do that every month. So I just have a reminder that tells me, hey, you need to do that. And then when I do it, then I just delete that item. Uh, you know, other things like bill payments or meetings, um, you know, anything.
anything that has to be done on a specific day. Uh, I also have the calendar send me a daily summary of what I, I got on the calendar that day and I review that and make sure everything that has to be done gets done. And anything that I need to do, I'll move to my action folder uh, if uh, it's not urgent. Uh, it can just be done after a certain day. Then I'll put it in my action folder. If something has to be done, I do it right from there. And in my action folder, then uh, you can see I got five messages in there. I started the day with like over 100 and uh, so the goal was to get that to zero and today I got it down to uh, five. There's just a few items in there that I just couldn't uh, I couldn't move for one reason or, or another. Uh, if I can give you any kind of tip here it's this action folder was the biggest thing that uh, I discovered that really helped me get my inbox to zero because now I know these are all items that I got to do and they're not mixed in with other items that don't need action and uh, it gives me a place to hold those items and then I get that uh, uh, I try and get that down to zero uh, each time that uh, I process now uh, you know as far as the uh, action items go the other tip I can give you is if you're having trouble getting something out of your email uh, just print it out and put it in your physical inbox and then you can get the satisfaction that your email account is down to zero. Now I didn't do that here in this case because you know today I just didn't feel like doing that. But I try and push everything down to my physical inbox just to keep the system clean, and uh, you know that's one of the ways that uh, I do that. As far as uh, uh, archiving, uh, you know I have everybody I work with. I put stuff in here so that you can see there's only 1,300 messages in there. I can quickly go back and see something I got some from somebody I work with as opposed to the big archive which has about 6400 messages in it um, then it's a little that's a little slower process to check those um, you know I can check and uh, because there's so many messages there depending on your internet connection it may be uh, a little slow going you can search for certain items in your email through Yahoo but I will tell you that's probably the only drawback to Yahoo mail is that their search function I don't think indexes these folders uh, very well. Now there are items from time to time that I need to refer to uh, you know more often but they don't require any action so I just kind of made a quick reference file folder here. You can see there's 50 items in there that I might need to refer to for one reason or another that has some information in it that I require and it takes a lot less time to go here than here. Uh, I get my faxes via email and when I first get them they'll go into action items uh, I'll print them out, um, then uh, any action that's required I'll take that and then I'll just archive all my faxes right here and so that way I always have a copy of the faxes that I received. Uh, I do tend to archive my sent archive uh, sent folder because I have 481 messages here but I have uh, you know a couple thousand here that I've archived from prior years and I typically once a quarter or so I'll empty that folder down in here and then I have a secondary trash folder that uh, you know something I'm not sure I want to delete I'll put it there for a little while and then once I get done going through all my folders then I'll empty my trash so my you know all my folders are clean and that's a real good feeling when uh, I finish uh, uh, my email now if you got complete control of your email uh, it's that's the best thing uh, situation to be in because I really recommend that you use something like Yahoo Mail I'm really a big fan of Yahoo Mail because of uh, the fact that they have unlimited storage, the out the uh, interface is a lot like Outlook, uh, which is a lot of people are used to that, and then it's very inexpensive. I think it's twenty or thirty dollars a year, and then all your email you can have funneled into your email account from all your accounts, and you can check them all in one spot, and then you can check your email, you know, anywhere you might be in the world. It's always available to you, along with all your archives. Uh, the other thing is is that if you have your email in like a Yahoo account then um, you know if your computer crashes and you're not a person that backs up things on a regular basis you're not in danger of losing all of your email that it's all backed up for you and uh, you know I find that to be a good system I know some people have said they have uh, you know they got to use their outlook at work and I know that puts some limitations on people and so you just kind of have to create some workarounds that work for you. Um, this is uh, the system that I developed and I can control my 
email as I see fit. So anyway, that's how I process my email. Uh, the biggest tip is probably the section items folder. I encourage you to use that. Uh, if you create a checklist of how to check your email each time, the number one thing people have trouble with is, you know, is checking that action items folder. They tend to forget they put items in there. And if you just make it part of your process to go in there and look by using a checklist to remind you, that will um, help out a lot there. So anyway, visit blackbeltproject.com. I hope the, the video was helpful. And if you got any questions, be sure and uh, let me know.